So examples of references. Let's just uh, just uh, carefully uh, uh, examine this. So here's an integer x and integer i. Both are initialized 8 and 4. Create, uh, creating a reference to i. Uh, initializing it with i creates a reference. If you say plus plus, if you did this with pointer, pointer would be incremented. Because in order to use pointer to modify the value, uh, you would have to dereference the pointer. With references, story changes completely. Now uh, i is incremented as expected. So it was initialized with 4. After this gets incremented, i becomes, becomes 5. Then if you try to assign it, so now i becomes 8. Because x is 8, our i refers to i. And by doing so, you modifying the i, and integer i will be modified. All right. So now, if we wanted to do some strange uh, attempts right here to create another reference, uh, they have to be referring to the um, uh, to an, the so-called uh, l value. Uh, l value is like a left value which basically represents in C++. I'll, I'll, I'll have this discussion uh, uh, in the future that uh, uh, this needs to be modifiable va value. Then you can use a reference to it because reference uh, must uh, refer to something that is uh, uh, that refers to a variable object. <coughs> it's n it cannot be referring to, an, to a literal uh, tool. It's, uh, it's not allowed. OK. Uh, references themselves can't be changed. I'm not going to waste our time um, actually here to go through all of these examples. If you read this, those are kind of like silly attempts to say, could I change R, the reference itself, once it's been created? The answer is no. R will always pretend that it's, it's an original object. So references themselves are, you know, uh, a so solid attachment to the original object. A reference to a member, um, um, let's see, um, if, if I have time, we will come back to this and, and we'll, we will talk about this uh, in, in a little bit, just uh, another case of using reference. And uh, I, I, I will come back to this later on. Copy constructors. OK, uh, recall that a, co a constructor is a member of a class, a member function of a class, that has the same name as the class itself. And once created, it could take some useful parameters to initialize uh, the object from the beginning. So here's an example. So, uh, Some place, there is a, a definition of point class, right? We've seen some examples of a point class. Perhaps I have it someplace on my disk. I can always copy and paste from here to, to reproduce the example. So we have a point class. So we create point one, point two. And the, apparently, the constructor is capable of taking two integers to accept point coordinates, like x and y. All right, so now we have two points. And we say, OK, draw segment. So somehow we have a, a little utility here, little function that takes two points, and somehow we'll be able to draw between them. Uh, connect two points, draw a segment. OK. But what's going to happen here is that point one and point two are going to be passed to draw segment through copies. The, these point one and point two will be will become from and two, but from and two are not indirect references to the originals. Rather, they are unique objects. So, copying of point one and point two will be taking place as part of draw segment call. First, copy of this will be manufactured. Then, copy of this will be manufactured. Then then when the function begins to execute, 
it will get access to a copy of point one and a copy of point two. There is no reference here of any kind. So when objects are passed as parameters in Java, they're passed by reference. Objects in Java are never copied. There is a, an additional uh, burden on the programmer to manufacture a copy of an object in Java. By default, in Java, all objects are passed by reference because Java says, oh, it's a great idea to create an object, but unless it's needed, don't make copies of it. It could be expensive, and it can also be dangerous in some cases. So in C++, the decision is that when we use straightforward syntax like this for our parameters, this function will be getting copies of the original objects. All right, so something interesting to consider here, and I think it's worth uh, copying into our, uh, into our uh, code here and, and trying to use it. So let's, let's take it slow, because this is a very useful example, and it's also a very practical example. So let me show you. Well, first of all, it seems like I will have to uh, modify this um, code anyway. So I will, well, you know what? Let me just create a brand new project. All right, so just create brand new project and to demonstrate this Terminator. And it's a good name to use for the project name, Terminator. Okay, so let's do that. So another Win Win32 console application. Uh, we'll name it uh, Terminator. Okay. And uh, click all right. <laughs> right. Again, we'll start with an empty project. Save the video. Oh, uh, I have like five minutes on it. Oh, well, if you want me to, no. 